How to download and install Karen's Replicator. This is a companion video to using Karen's Replicator for backing up your files. For the main video, and also a download link for Replicator, please look in Show More underneath this video. To download and install Karen's Replicator, maybe the best way is to open the search engine you use and type in Karen's Replicator. A lot of people have Replicator available for download, but why not get it from the source, which is Karenware.com. Click the link in the search engine, and Karen's page opens. Scroll down a bit for the download link. There's a note telling you that the Visual Basic Runtime 6.0 files are needed, but these are Microsoft files that you probably already have installed. Or, if not, Replicator will install them for you, so the only thing to do here is download Replicator. Maybe the easiest way to do that is to right-click the download link, and in the context menu that appears, click to Save Link As, or Save Target As, whichever your browser offers. When you do that, a dialog opens, and you can direct the download to any location on the computer. Unless you have reason to do otherwise, click to download to the desktop, only because that's convenient. The file downloads. This is a real-time view. Your download speed might be different from mine. And after the file has downloaded, close the browser. These two desktops seen in split-screen are just to show that the decorations make no difference. Here, the default desktop is on the left. The simpler view that Microsoft calls Classic Windows is on the right, but the machinery underneath is the same. There's only one desktop. The bells and whistles don't matter. Using the Classic view, because there are fewer distractions, the downloaded file is ready to install, so two-click the file to start the installation. Again, this is a real-time view. All I'm going to do is keep clicking Next until the installation is finished. There is one decision to make, but you can't be wrong. If more than one person uses your computer, then should Replicator be installed only for you, or for all users? Other users can have different backup jobs running at different times, but whichever you select is fine, Replicator will work just the same. After that, keep accepting the defaults, and Replicator installs into the Program Files folder, which is where all programs should reside. It adds shortcuts to the Start menu, and the job is done. Again, in Split Screen, your Start menu might not look like mine, but again, these are decorations that make no difference. The default icon view is on the left side of this Split Screen, the simpler List view is on the right, but it's the same machinery inside. So, sure enough, Replicator is installed and ready to use. The downloaded file is no longer needed, so you can just delete it. Or if you keep copies of installed files, then of course it goes into whatever folder you use. Well, that completes this video on how to download and install Karen's Replicator. Next is how to set it up and run it. If you clicked to this video from the main video, then X this window closed, and the main video will still be there ready to run. Or, if you surfed in, then here's the link to the full how-to video for backing up your files to a USB flash drive, or to any location or folder on any computer. The same link is also in Show More underneath this video. I hope this video was of some use to you, and thanks for watching!